Hey guys, Luigi Mario 3 here from the Mario Custom Scene, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom thumbnail for your videos, like the ones I do. Um, I this is not exactly my tutorial. I actually found out how to make them kind of like this from a different tutorial, but I just kind of like change it up a little bit, get a little creative and whatnot. So yeah, let's get started. First of all. Of course, you will need your um, Minecraft skin. So if I just go in here, um, you know, here's my Minecraft skin. Uh, this tutorial, I will be showing you two different methods, but both of them you will have to have Photoshop. Um, if you don't have it, there's tons of free ways to get it on the internet. I will be also showing you um, how you can get your character with Cinema 4D. Again, you can get that some way for free on the internet. And Minecraft Skin Viewer, which is not as good. It's quicker, but it's already free. So yeah, let's get started. Um, so first, you have to get your skin. So if we go into Cinema 4D, and then over here, presets. And then you have to, of course, have to have a Minecraft rig. Uh, OK. So here we got um, the thing, choose the skin, and then if you haven't already, you'll have to put your skin into the um, roaming folder. First you would um, go in here and then you know you would search roaming, and then when you would get into roaming you would um, scroll until you find Maxon, and then you'd go here, and then here. You'd put your skin in, and then I'm going to choose that. Um, well, that looks weird. Uh, okay, and then um, what I usually do, since I have this, I uncheck all of this. Wow, why does that look so weird? Um, like one sec. Okay, hold on a second. I'm back and I'm very stupid. I it was just that I had another Steve over it. So, um you'll choose your skin and then you know you'll have this. Um up here you'll go into the settings and make it nineteen twenty by one thousand and eighty. Um in the save options check alpha channel, change this to PNG because you want it to be transparent. Uh the name, you know, you can just make it whatever and save it to your desktop or wherever you want and then go over here to effect um, do global illumination uh, you can do ambient, ambient ambient occlusion but the only reason I don't is because it well it kinda leaves like that dark thing under my second layer of hats so yeah close that and then go over t up here to create a physical sky and then you have to create a physical sky if you don't do this then the um um the global illumination illumination will not work so yeah you got your little character here and then you wanna you don't have to do this for the bones but I just do it to get it out of the way and then you go over to the arms and feet or whatever and then you can make them do whatever pose you wish the legs are doing some, you know, funny stuff. Okay. Right arm. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything real fancy. I'm just going to be... Yeah. You know, get a little creative in this because, yeah, you can do tons of stuff with it. I mean... I always do this one little signature pose, and I, uh, depending on which side of the thumbnail, if I put them on the right side of the thumbnail, I'm going to make them look like this. If I do the left, I have them like that. Usually I do this, so uh, yeah, that looks good, and we'll save it. Um, This is going to take a little bit to render because of the glo global illumination. So yeah, I will be right back when it's done. Okay, I'm back and the rendering is done. And if we look at it, 
it looks like this but if you notice there is a little bit of the sky left there and everything because I don't know why but the physical sky doesn't really render out when I do this which is good so it's an easy thing to get rid of it so you don't have to see the sky um, so if you just open it up in Photoshop or paint.net I always use paint.net for taking away backgrounds and, oh, <laughs> and if you click the magic wand and you select the background and you select this little area and this little area and then you hit the delete key and then control s okay bam now it's gone okay now um that's for the cinema 4d to get your skin if you don't have cinema 4d and you have minecraft skin viewer you just type in your name and you know of course it'll pull up your skin do whatever pose you like right click save image as save it as a PNG of course um, save and then yeah you got this one as well and defaultly it comes as a pretty big picture so yeah now if we go or first um, if you don't um, I got this nice little background for thumbnails so if we go into your browser come on Chrome load okay browser and then um, go to Google images and then type in cool thumbnail backgrounds after that you should there's tons of interesting backgrounds you can do you know be creative whatever I prefer to if it's not 1920 by 1080 you can just save one of these and then change the size to 1920 by 1080 I mean there's tons of cool backgrounds you can use for your thumbnails like this one that's pretty cool for a thumbnail background just make it bigger that one's pretty cool that one is that one's pretty cool as well use that one once before this one's pretty good too um yeah so after you save the background you go into photoshop um, I'm not doing this in paint.net because I can't really make a good thumbnail in paint.net so you want to open and then if we search for the background you'll get it and then what I like to do is make this lighter area centered so I control A and then control T and then hold shift and drag the corner to make it size and do that and then press enter and that looks pretty good so then you want to open your skin I'm going to be using the cinema 4d one I'm actually no I'll use both actually just so you can see how it looks and then you also want to open again and if you don't you can of course search it on Google images um, a Minecraft logo now there's tons out there you know so it doesn't really matter which one you get so if we go back here um, image adjustments hue saturation and let's make it let's go with a yeah that, that's decent it's not the best but this is just a tutorial you can create the color however you want or you could just have controlled you to get to that, it doesn't matter. Um, now, if we go into the logo, Control A, Control C, go back over here, Control V, it'll automatically create a new layer with the logo. And then, if you Control T, Shift, drag the corner, or oops, didn't really mean to do that. You want to make it a little smaller. Now, this is um, you can put any logo you want. Of course, if you're doing Gary's mod, put Gary's mod, and Left 4 Dead 2, you know, Team Fortress 2, whatever. And then control A, control C, control V. Now you got your skin and control T. 
and then shift drag the corner and uh, this is a pretty decent size and you know you can put it right over here press enter and now we're gonna get a little creative with the character so if you right click it blending options drop shadow and then I like to put it as 3725 and then stroke you don't always sometimes it looks best without it sometimes it doesn't really matter um, I like to put it as white and then OK and you see it outlines the character and I usually put mine at 9 and you see that looks pretty good I usually don't do anything to the logo at all just because it's fine enough to me I sometimes might add a little more drop shadow uh, I might just do it in this no yeah it usually does not work out well and then um, you know that's that's basically so far your thing now we go down here and then create a new layer uh, I want to drag it above the character if we go over to the text crap I accidentally clicked the wrong thing alright um, let's see uh, it doesn't really matter what font you use I've kinda gotten to the SF Fedora I've kinda moved on from the Minecraft my, I've kinda moved on from this font and the Minecraftia font which is like the Minecraft text like that I've kinda moved on from those and gotten to a little more creative fonts like the um, Bada Boom BB font and the SF Fedora font. Now you want to make the size about 250. And then let's say I was doing survival games. Control, drag it, and that's actually a little too small, so we're going to go with. Three fifty, and that's that's better, yeah. And you know you can drag it wherever you feel like it. You know, let's go with about right there. That's pretty good. Now click the layer. Uh, no, actually, I'll drag it over just a little more. Yeah, there we go. Right click it. Blending options. Drop shadow. And then. If you want to, you can add some stroke to it. Doesn't really matter. Um, what I like to do as well is add some gradient. So if you check the gradient, um, click that. You can, you know, let's see. Uh, put that there. And then drag it about the Y about into the center. And you got this cool little gradient. I think that looks like a pretty good thumbnail. Um, this is just a tutorial, of course, so you can modify it however you want. Now this, let's see, you go to File, Save As, PN, or I actually saved, saved my thumbnails as PNGs, and then Test Thumbnail 1. OK. And then it'll flatten out to one layer. Or not flatten out to one layer, it'll flatten out to one layer and this. So if we go back here, and let's um, let's delete that and let's open up the other skin and see how it will look it's not going to look as good in my opinion because um, I mean you can't really modify the character that well but you always get the exact skin you want and since I just deleted it it's already going to have the stuff I added to it so yeah drag it over here resize it 
like quite a bit. Um, now, of course, that does not really look as good. Um, but, you know, you can get creative with your thumbnails. And if you did it correctly, you would have gotten a result like this. Bam. Now, that looks pretty good. Of course, in Cinema 4D or whatever, you can if you don't have Cinema 4D, you can just add some Minecraft picture images off the internet paste them in but in cinema 4d of course you're able to add some items into the hand uh, should have done that you know i could put a helmet on a chest plate sword pickaxe whatever but you know just get creative with your thumbnails customize the color background etc um yeah i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um uh <laughs> yeah um it's not the best. I mean, it's just kind of how I make my thumbnails, you know. You can, of course, use your own custom font if you like your own font. Um, use your Minecraft skin, of course, etc. Um, now, this, of course, is kind of from Minecraft thumbnails because I don't really know how to get Gary's Mod characters. I mainly don't really know how to get Minecraft ones. Uh, yeah. Um, I made this background basically the same way as a thumbnail. This is my desktop background, and it looks pretty good, I guess, you know, just for basic desktop background. Um, also, we are basically at 1.8k subscribers, or 1,800 subscribers, 1,800 subscribers, whatever you want to say. That's pretty good, in my opinion. Um, wow, okay. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Um, it's... This has been a pretty good year so far. 2014, we've earned about 300 subs or so around t since 14 started, I think, and that's pretty good. Um, we're almost at 2,000, and when we do reach 2,000, of course, we lower faces. I don't really think a lot of you really want to see that right now, but it, uh, we don't really care. We're going to show them anyways. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe if you want more Minecraft tutorials or any tutorials at all. Uh, yeah, rate the video, comment on the video, or just subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to share the video as well. Um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Luigi Mario 3 and I am signing off. Peace.